checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Before we can even get into anything else, uh, the latest news of this morning was the passing of Afa. Yeah, um, it was not a surprise or anything, but it was uh, really, you know, so so close to the passing of Sika. You mm -hmm. know, so I feel really, really bad for the family. Um, I saw a post, I think it was um, from one of the family members that that was basically saying that, that uh, you know, I mean, it's, he's, he's had you know, one thing after another that's been documented and, um, you know, heart issue, back issue, surgeries, you know, um, that the, you know, his brother dying, um, it's been a really, really horrible year for the family and for him in specific. And, um, yeah, I just want to, well, I want to apologize, you know, because I had mentioned it yesterday, um, when essentially, you know, I don't want to get into big excuses, but, um, you know, I mean, I had been told when I woke up yesterday, you know, essentially it's Thursday, it's going to be a bad day, blah, 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 you know, um, it could happen any minute, essentially, mm -hmm. and just wait for the family. And, um, you know, got texts during the day, you know, same thing. I mean, like, like that, I mean, I had gotten texts that he had passed away right. during the day, um, and, and a couple more um well i was writing you know writing the sullivan story and um you know the the um i saw the post from sam you know samula and other people and you know saw that as he died which which in fact he was still alive at the time wow but but um you know a lot you know that was the the thing the family will say when wait for the family and then uh today um you know afterwards you know i mean i I posted it, took it down, uh, you know, like minutes later and, um, apologize. I didn't apologize. I, I wrote, it's not happening. You know, I apologized in the, on the website, but, um, the, you know, the, the basic just then, you know, I heard from people very close, you know, all, you know, all night last night, this morning, um, was told that he had passed away, wait for the family. And then it was like Lynn made it public. You can report it. So. That's essentially what happened, how it happened. And, um, you know, which is, I don't want to obfuscate the big story, which is really sad. You know, I mean, we talked a lot when Sika died, you know, it's the same basic story. Yeah. Um, you know, they grew up here in, in, in San Francisco. They were originally from Samoa. Um, and, um, you know, fans in the stands, you know, the story of, uh, and I don't know how embellished it is. I mean, Patterson told me the story 40 times. <laughs> um, that doesn't necessarily make it true, but it's probably remnants of it is true, you know, of them and the fans and, uh, you know, being fans when he was a heel and, and, you know, having to fight his way back to the dressing room and everything like that. And I know when I grew up, I mean, the story was that, that Afa and Sika, you know, were, were fans and Roy, you know, was, uh, Roy Shire, um, wanted to, you know, like, like for the protection of his wrestlers, because they would be, uh, so wild. And I don't know that this is again, true. I mean, I'm sure it's somewhat embellished, but he had them, um, he basically, you know, they were friends with Peter Maivia and, and hooked him up with Jerry Monty to train them and then to send them on the road, you know, and learn wrestling. And then at some point come back here, you know, as Samoan stars, you know, after, you know, Peter wasn't going to be young forever. And then that would be the next generation. And, you know, as it turned out, they, they wrestled here briefly at the end of the territory, but the territory was so down and it was a very small period of time. So it never really happened here. They went all over. They were, you know, they were originally baby faces. I mean, mm -hmm. and they were going to be baby faces here. They were baby faces for years where, where, you know, the, the Islanders and then, um, and, and tag team champions in many places. And then eventually they became heels everywhere as the wild Samoans. And, um, you know, worked all over the world were, were major, major stars. And, uh, you know, this giant family, I mean, like, geez, there's so many relatives in WWE, you know, um, Roman Reigns, Usos, Solo, um, Jacob Fatu and, you know, in independence and so many Umaga, Rosie, um, Rikishi, Tonga kid. Um, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's an endless number of family members that came from, you know, Afa Sika and their brother, um, who, you know, were the, uh, you know, and their, and their family members, they, you know, have been 
you know, I'd say the, the dominant family now by far in U.S. wrestling. I mean, you couldn't say, you know, like, I mean, there's been other famous families, you know, like the Hearts and all that. But but for today, you know, they're the dominant family in WWE. And, uh, um, you know, Alpha ran wrestling, uh, you know, wrestling uh, independent shows. He trained a, a lot, a lot, a lot of guys. Um, you know, was just involved in wrestling, um, you know, from what 72 ish i think 72 when they started in phoenix um until you know just recently when they finally announced recently it wasn't that long ago that he was shutting down his promotion due to health yeah and, um yeah um it's uh it's a uh, you know it's a sad story it's a tough week you know with kevin um off uh, dennis brent who was you know who i knew um you know just a lot of um a lot of deaths, you know, this week and, 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 and everything, um, in the industry. And the other thing about that family is that we'll probably see several more from that family getting into wrestling. Many more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, some of it was that, that, that they, they, um, you know, um, you know, it, it, it when, when, when you're in that family, the access to training as a very young person, um, is there so you get kind of a jump on everyone which is funny because like jacob fatu is probably the most physically talented of anyone ever in that family and i don't know that he i don't even know when he started training because you know he was in prison and everything and then um you know i mean he he i don't, I don't know that he started like you know I, I don't know you know i don't know when he started training but but he wasn't you know he wasn't in the business until he was in his 20s um you know where some of the other ones had been bouncing around from a very young age. I mean, it's funny because, you know, Roman wanted to be, wanted to be a football player, um, you know, in the NFL. And he was, you know, obviously a very good college player, but, but not good enough for the NFL. And this was the fallback. And, you know, I'm sure he's glad he didn't make the NFL because he's had a lot more longevity and fame and money in this than he ever would have had as an NFL player. Um, especially now, you know, now that he's in his late thirties, you know, he would have been long since done in the NFL and the way his schedule is and everything like that, he could, you know, and, and, and his aura and everything like that, he could have 10 years or more making, you know, millions and millions of dollars a year, like doing this, um, on, on his own schedule, which he's, he's, he's very, very lucky, you know, cause very few people historically, you can probably, you know, have been able to make that kind of money on that type of schedule, you can count them on two fingers, basically <laughs> the people who have maybe, th maybe three fingers, maybe Hogan and, um, um, well, Hogan rock, uh, Brock Lesnar and, and Roman. Right. I don't know if there's anyone that I'm leaving out as far as the, the ability to make that kind of money undertaker at the end, I suppose, but, but Roman's making more than undertaker ever did, you know? Um, and, um, cause he came later and, um, and, and more than Hogan for that matter. So, um, yeah, it'd really probably just be Rock and him and, and Brock Lesnar. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the Join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click Join today and don't miss out.